creating engaging videos, making it interesting, creating where people can be drawn to whatever you're gonna say and be like, oh my god, I want to know more, I want to know more of her, I want to know more of her things, I want to watch more of the videos, all those things I'm gonna share with them today. And I'm gonna go through six main things that you need to do in order to have those engaging videos and really make it you, but at the same time, attract the right people for you. So let's just get to it after. Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue à mon canal. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yokoso. I hope you're doing fine today. This is another day, another week, and another video of me. And as you can see, we're gonna talk about being more on videos, getting that mm, back. No matter if you're introverted, but more so if you're creative at heart. And I'm really calling out all my creative people out there, and where you can actually stand out and make a name out of it, and build a dream business out of it, build a personal brand out of it. And that's what we do here on this channel, where it's all about getting confident and being more on videos, using your style as an asset because at the end of the day, you deserve it, you're worth it, and it all start with you. You know, I'm Lady Tomo and I'm all about being artistic at heart. It's all about just being more visible, being a human being and being able to connect triggers somebody's curiosity because we all want to know something that we don't know. When you're somebody that is looking at a title that is intriguing, you're gonna click on it. But working in that psychology where you know that everything that is intriguing is gonna push people to want to watch more of your videos and that's sort with the title and that's why in my previous videos I talked about thumbnails it's so important that's the door of your house first and main door of your house so if people can't even be attracted enough when they read your title they're just gonna move on they're just gonna go away and be like you know what there's nothing here even if there's a truly pure gem behind that door. People can know it if your front door is a mess. You're gonna create a gap between what people know and what they want to know. And we're gonna be talking about clickbait here. After the clickbait is not a bad thing if you can deliver on that promise. So whatever you're gonna write, whatever title you're gonna put on your videos, they better be whatever you're gonna be talking on that videos because this is how you're gonna build that trust. And if people can't trust you because they're gonna see a title and then the video is gonna be something else they're gonna click away and they're not gonna watch your videos anymore afterwards because i have one of my clients really good friend that i'm working with in order for her to build up her youtube channel and her video presence and it's all about working on those relationships being a parent having kids and having to manage the relationships and managing the mental health of everybody in the family you know where she was gonna talk about her journey but when it came to the title it was more so what it is to be a single mom but she got through depression and burnout just because the system was not able to take care of her kid the way they should have that's why she decided to go with her business prioritize mental health from the parents and the kid and everybody involved in it what is it to be a single mom what they don't tell you about modern parenting and all that stuff to bring people to her channel in order to get to know her her business more entreat people and be like oh they don't tell me something about parent oh let me click that and see what is it behind it people and i have clients and i work with them on the channels and really being able to bring it to a next level use clickbait if you need to but deliver that promise i'm telling you the second thing is to hook your audience yes hook your audience and that's what with questions you want to ask at the very beginning of the video and usually if people get to stay on your videos for more than 50 seconds you already have a like here attention spam for a lot of us are getting shorter and shorter and shorter you know so in a way for you to be remembered you need to be short and sweet 
but at the same time to make it you in a way that is your personality coming through it the worst thing you want to do is to start with your intro you know and at the very beginning I wasn't even familiar with that I was like at the beginning of the videos and then they have the intro and then they keep talking like why it's that and then I did a lot of research on that and then I discovered that actually people need to get connected people need to connect to you as a person if they see a general intro at the very beginning which is the first let's say 15 seconds most of the time they don't need you to go around the bush for like three minutes four minutes if you're trying to bring a point if you're trying to bring an opinion if you're trying to solve anything actually start with a question or start with something that could be intriguing enough for people to be like i want to watch more but never never ever 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 start with having your intro first and people don't even see your face so you need to know your ideal client you need to know people that you're looking to target most and think about their lifestyle I talked about my friend and she's targeting parents with younger kids so those parents usually they are busy they have multiple things to do you know that you have a point you have a goal and you make it in a way where it's really direct it's really clear it's really precise for people to go through the whole thing and be able to watch that till the end and it depends on your personality too because i'm somebody i love to go with the generalization you should hear me when i talk to my friends I'm always always gonna go with the you know i did this and then i did that and then and now and then it goes to that and get it got to that and then that moment oh yes it was that it was that i'm telling you i'm telling you they're just like i can with you i can't can you just go straight to the bullet like i just want to know the end and i'm like no <laughs> you need to be in the moment you need to feel the moment you need to be grasped in the moment in order for you to really understand how two hours later yeah yeah that's me and i have to learn the hard way that sometimes people did not need to know all of that this is why you need to make a plan when it comes to being on video script your text so that you can be clear and concise that's all i can say make it visual think about your own life whenever you're looking for solution what do you do you're gonna google it and probably the first options they're gonna be on youtube recommendations whenever i need something quick i'm gonna go on youtube first because i know it's gonna be visual and it's gonna be a lot more easier for me to understand the concept so visuals are everything they make everything easier this is 21st century welcome to it yes we have what we call a rolls and we have what we call b rolls and a rolls is pretty much you sitting down here like i'm doing and i talk to you and i understand i explain the concept and i saying whatever i want to say because i'm getting to a point now the b rolls are gonna be the part where they're gonna be the added value because whatever i'm gonna tell you or whatever i'm gonna say to you right now the visuals or the image or the videos or the graphics all that stuff are elements that are gonna be easier for you to understand the concept behind it so i could be talking about it right now and to you like now but any extra visual it's gonna make it even easier for people to understand you better and really be drawn to that the other beautiful things about them is that people get to get it a lot faster than something they would read watching something visual is going to activate over 50 percent of your brain more so than that your personal style is visual this is the branding this is the color this is you <laughs> this is what you wear this is a part of people being connected people trusting you people can see all the details you know all the details if we're talking about personal branding now it's your personality it's you as a person it's you being creative it's you having those multiple passions that's the people that i'm working with are coming from other cultures you know not being able to speak english and really find it hard and challenging for them to use english as a way to convey the messaging even if they want to that's the power of visual storytelling are gonna just beautifully compliment whatever you're gonna be saying which leads me to the next thing which is to tell a story telling a story is a lot easier for people to be able to relate to your personal experiences even deeper than that it evokes emotions it brings people emotions and nowadays with modern entrepreneurship it's more needed than ever because people don't buy the brand people buy you for you for being you you have to bring out your own journey and it's all about choosing what 
made you and really got you to be the person you are today. I live in Cameroon first, I traveled around and that made me discover so many different cultures. I got to learn English and really be able to overcome my fear of being shy, of being introverted and being more on videos. Evoking emotions through stories is powerful. People are gonna be remembering that a lot more and in the long term as well. Think about the last time you maybe described how a plate was or a plate was looking like that last pasta that you had and how it made you feel. When you get to talk about stories, people make sense out of it. It's not just facts. When you get to something that makes sense, when you get to have all those elements and make it in a story, people feel like they are a part of that story. People can relate to that. You can't please everybody out there. Not everybody has the story you have and you don't have the same story that as everybody else does. If somebody is gonna be relating to that because of all those details that they can turn into their own ideas and experience. The point here is for you to make the person be heard. The next thing is to inspire your audience. People will generally associate the way they feel about certain brands to some personality traits. So if you're a good person and that's something that you show online a lot, people are gonna be drawn to you because they're gonna feel better whenever they watch your videos. And that's always the feeling that you want to bring up here. My channel is not for everybody. My channel is for people that are passionate, really warm-hearted type of people. Bringing value is a thing. Making people feel a certain way is something else. Bringing value doesn't have to be you being business. It could be you being fun, entertaining, singing, having a certain style. The next thing is to make it credible. We have a lot of people saying a lot of things out there. A lot of different vices. A lot of people they can go to to have the problem solved. You need to make it authentic, genuine. And you're gonna have a lot of people saying, you know, I made 50K in two weeks. I made 50K in one month. Sometimes it's true and sometimes it's not true. So when people get to discover that, when people get to find out about you not being truthful about it, the trust is broken forever or for a while, you know? This is gonna be even harder for you to bring people in. It doesn't matter how many people you have in your audience, what matters is that you're actually serving people. Make it credible, make it genuine, make it authentic. You don't have to create a dream life in order for people to believe you. If you're creating that dream life, it's more for you than for other people out there just saying whatever you say that you did i hope you actually did it <laughs> whatever you say you make better be something that you're actually making that was it for me for today i hope you liked it it was a really interesting videos i love doing it because i was like huh let me say what I can say about engaging content, you know, about videos. Videos are really big nowadays and I think that it's gonna get bigger and bigger and I think uh, what happened this year is probably gonna kind of accelerate things here. You want to be confident, you want to be genuine, you want to be you, you want to share that vibrant, amazing personality you already have and you do have a voice and it does matter. So, share your story. Say anything you need to say, make it engaging. And I hope this video was helpful enough for you to at least start making videos and not being scared of what people can say about it, you know. For the rest, follow me on Instagram because I do a lot more live. And of course, I always want your feedback. So if you have anything to say, anything you want to share with me, share it, let me know. Hope you like it. Let me know what was the best hack of them all. C'était tout le côté avoir plus de confiance en termes de vidéo. J'espère que vous avez aimé. Laissez-moi savoir ce que vous avez aimé le plus, bien sûr. Subscribe to this channel if you want to know more because it's gonna be a lot more. And leave me your feedback into what you want me to do next. And share it with your friends if you feel like somebody might be in need of your starting videos, you know, all that stuff, you know, all that charm. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna see you for my next video and I say that all the time. Keep smiling because it's free and contagious in a good way. Bye.